Hi, everyone. How are you today? Good. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. It's, it's very nice to meet both of you. So let's go all the way back to day one. What made you both want to be a part of this series? Well, um, yeah, it was, uh, it feels like ages ago. It was four years plus, you know, um, um, and I, I, yeah, I was, I was, I was asked to be involved right at the start with Sophie Darlington um, before it was, you know, there was even a production team up and running um, to just go and sort of look at possible mentees that could come on board, young camera women that that could be brought in. And so I remember spending days with her, just going through writing spreadsheets and and then you know finding out who people people who were graduating from film courses and stuff and thinking, God, this is really bizarre. We've never done this before. Um, but this just this idea that there there was an unfolding kind of series that was going to happen. Um, and it, I mean, I, I don't think either of us really knew how that was going to take shape, what it was even going to be really, apart from you know a female led behind the scenes and on screen uh piece of work so um yeah i mean it was it, you know and it was described to me by vanessa uh Berlowitz, um you know do you want to be involved this is what it's going to be it was it was obvious you know that this is a great opportunity to do something that's been a long time in coming a very long time in coming so yeah it was not something you say no to <laughs> I think, yeah, building off that, it's not something you say no to. I was interviewed at Jackson Wilds back in 2019 for the mentee role. And I couldn't believe that there was even the opportunity to learn from people like Sophie and Justine, but then also, you know, some of the top male cinematographers as well. This this chance to be on new equipment, this chance to learn from some of the greats, like you couldn't say no to that. It's just, why, why would you say no to that? Just so much knowledge, so much talent there. It was an amazing opportunity. Well, to also get a chance to go to places people only dream of, you know, being able to immerse yourselves in, you know, an animal world, that's not our world. You know, you're placing yourself in their home. Um, and for both of you, your jobs require a lot of patience. You know, you're trying to shoot animals. You can't direct them. You can't tell them, oh, stop, stand there. I have to get the perfect mm -hmm. shot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so for both of you, how do you find that patience when it's, you know, it's been days upon days and you're trying to just get that one shot? How do you find the patience and the, the go-getterness to keep going? think you get addicted to the moment you get those shots. So you know it's well worth the wait. So you build that patience knowing that if you stick it out and it'll be worth it because animals always are doing incredible things. You just need to wait and be there and be positioned correctly to be able to capture those moments. Yeah, and also I'd, I'd say that luckily for us, the subjects that were chosen on Queens were, were all animals that, that do, you know, are quite accessible, mostly, you know, <laughs> elephants, um, lions, hyenas, um, the gelada baboons, um, for example. Um, so that they, you know, you're, there weren't ones that you were hunting for or sitting in a hide for, for days on end waiting to maybe turn up. Um, so there, there was always activity going on. So probably not as much patience required as some things that you can work on with wildlife. <laughs> um, uh, I think more uh, the patience for sort of just getting up every morning early and going out and doing the same thing every day and, and, and more a sort of less patience, but more the concentration required to look at what's mm -hmm. happening here all the time. Is there something going on between these two? You can't really switch off from that and go, all right, it's just like zone out and you, you need to be on it all the time because you never know when something really um, crucial is going to happen. And, and these are really subtle things. So you have to be paying attention. Yeah, you got to be quick. Hmm? You got to be quick. Yes. You know, make sure yeah, yeah. You're on it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you do. You do. Yeah. Can't be on your tea so, break. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So for both of you, what are you hoping fans get from the series? Oh, uh, Aaron, you uh, I I hope I hope that they get inspiration. I hope that people have. I hope families have their kids watch this. I hope both little boys and little girls get excited about it, get inspired by it. 
I hope there are people seeing themselves on on the screen that have never seen anyone that looks like them. And I that's that's my hope is that not only are we raising like Justine and Sophie raising people like myself and helping them build mm -hmm. the skills, but also we're raising the confidence in the next generation and we're showing that next generation, look at look at you can do this. So that in 10, 15 years, the rooms are full of, you know, aspiring cinematographers from all different backgrounds. Yeah, well said. Absolutely. <laughs> Thousand percent agree. Can you guys do it? You're trailblazing with this series. Uh, you're setting the groundwork for, as you guys said, little boys and little girls to watch this and be like, I want to be that photographer. I mm -hmm. want to be that person. And I know for me growing up, there weren't as many, uh, but now watching it and being like, I am absolutely jealous that you guys get to go to all these amazing locations, get to shoot these amazing animals. And, you know, you guys are, and to me, living the life uh, yeah. and doing an amazing job at it. So congratulations on a fantastic series. Thank I'm you. super excited for everyone to see it. And I'm ex super excited to see what else you guys have in store for us later on in both of your careers. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks. Thank you so much.